I'm Ryan Smith, technology journalist here at UC Today, and I'm joined by Marco Cortese, the president and sales manager at Mida Solutions. Today, we're going to be discussing the company's recent success in achieving Microsoft Teams certification for its compliance recorder and its C-cubed contact center. Welcome, Marco. How are you doing today? Ah, uh, fine, thanks. Thanks for this opportunity. It's great to have you with us. Uh, so we might as well jump on straight on into it. Um, we'll start off with just. Can you tell me a little bit why Mida Solutions decided to start work on achieving Microsoft certification? Well, let's start from some numbers uh, because I think that uh, you probably know that uh, Microsoft changed completely the unified communication market with 270 million monthly active users. And I think something like 90% of Fortune 500 companies using Microsoft Teams. So. Starting from these numbers, it's quite obvious that we have to do something and that we have to change our approach and focus also on these uh, technologies. Um, let me say also that uh, this is a, some, some business uh, approach. The business is over there, we have to move there. But we are talking about the certification. Since MIDA had always a big focus on quality and security of the products that we, we provide and the services we, we provide, uh, the first point was to, uh, I mean, uh, go directly with a certified solution. So it needed uh, a long time. It was complex, uh, but at the end of the story, this is completely worthwhile because we can now see uh, say that our products are certified, and this guarantees a, a very high degree of security and performances to the customers. Uh, because I mean, everything can be compatible, but certifies something different. And even a step more is that once we we were used to have solution on prem, uh, and on prem you can see things working. Now everything is in the cloud. Teams is in the cloud, and Mida is has moved in the cloud. So the certification is all, also some way to formally guarantee security and performances once again to the solution and services that we provide to customer. Um, so and. and let me add a final point is that with this, our customer can provide better services to their customers uh, because he knows that he leverages on uh, good with, I mean, on a solution with good performances and with a guaranteed uh, uh, solution. So, okay, th these are the main points. Uh, business is going there. We have to go there. And we went there in uh, Microsoft Teams. And uh, but at the end of the story, we wanted to provide a, a good service, a good product, and to guarantee this to our customer. That's what we achieved with the, the certification. I think I think these are the main points. Great stuff. Obviously, one of those products that you achieved the certification with was the compliance recorder. Uh, can you just tell our audience um, what it is, who the product's for, and kind of what problems in the market it solves? Okay. Uh, yes, as you correctly said, I mean, uh, uh, our proposition on, uh, on Microsoft Teams environment is based on the contact center and uh, recorder. And uh, uh, as far as we are talking about the recording, let me say formally, it's just a solution to record and store voice communications uh, in a secure way uh, in order to address uh, laws, corporate policies or security practices. Uh, what does this mean? Uh, as you probably know, in banking, finance environment, whenever you talk about, uh, I mean, transactions or money, you have to record this conversation because of for future check and, and verifications. But that is this is the most common and known environment where recording is needed. Uh, but that is commonly used in every call center because in, in the call center generally you talk about not only money but contracts, buying, selling, and stuff like that. So you need something that will certify what what you're doing during this conversation. If there's some kind of transaction uh, together with the conversation. Um, but there are so many environments, let me say also security environments like in, I mean, in railway uh, for networks or in, uh, I mean, highway internal communication networks, uh, public administration or multi-utilities, let's say, for example, multi-utilities if you call to to say, okay, I have some problem with the with the gas, and something happens, uh, the 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 company needs something to certify that you already told this in the conversation. So recording is mandatory. So once again, 
finance uh, market is the most common and, and known, but there are so many that, um, I mean, uh, that's why our product is, uh, I mean, has been built in a very flexible way because in different environments, you still have to record, but you have different uh, needs. Let me ju just, just to outline one point, for an example. If you have a recording solution for a security environment, if there, just to understand if there's an accident in the train, then you have to quickly understand what happened. So generally, you do not need to store recording recorded messages for more than three days, one month, let's say, because you need them immediately. In finance environment, you need them uh, for 10 years, something like 10 years, because there are some laws that uh, ask for this. So uh, I think that the main point is uh, uh, for our compliance recording is that it's not only recording, it's compliance recording. That means helping the companies to be compliant with rules and laws. And this is, uh, I think that the most, uh, I mean, interesting point is that it's, it's very flexible because depending on the market on the vertical proposition of, 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 of the customer, we have specific features for one or, or the other. Um, whenever we talk about recording, let me say that we have to talk about GDPR, we have to talk about uh, privacy, we have to talk about security. So these are always our top points in, in, in whatever we do in a, in a recording solution. So let me say, just uh, it, it should be obvious, but we have compression, we have encryption, and we have anti tamper signatures in every file. So, this is to grant that all files are stored in a secure way. Um, one, one thing that came out with the, I mean, the, 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 in the Teams environment, in the so whenever you move a recording solution in the cloud, is um, where are the recorded files stored? Because you sometimes need to, I mean, address some uh, national rules and laws, so they need to be uh, um, stored and archived in the country where they have been recorded. So our solution is in the cloud, but it can be hybrid solution. So you can have the recording solution in the cloud and the storage on-prem or wherever you want. Um, these are one, for example, of the things that, that we had to address with the new world that was introduced by, I mean, not, not introduced by Teams, but Teams is, is, is a PDX, is a a switching solution that is now in the cloud. This is the big difference. So it opened new uh, points to be addressed. Um, uh, let me j just a final uh, uh, point on the recording solution is that uh, it can be used not only to address laws, but also as a tool, an internal tool to uh, understand how you are providing your voice services. Um, it's quite common for us to have recording solution uh, together with call center solution, not only to have something that is some, some way uh, uh, getting the information for future check, but also because the record conversation and then the supervisor can check if the conversation has been uh, managed in the correct way. Uh, so it's, it's generally used to understand, to make some customer care quality uh, analysis. And we have been also integrating, in this case, for example, with uh, external application. You probably heard about, uh, I mean, uh, machine learning, uh, speech analytics. These are very strong, for example, in, in, in Microsoft environment. And our approach is to be open to integration, and we already did it, so that we record in a, in a correct way so that contents can be analyzed by external engines, let's say, uh, and so machine learning, stuff like that. And this is very useful because in this way, uh, the customer can have some high level information also on the content of the conversations. And this helps improving uh, measuring and improving the, the, the quality of the service that is, is doing. So that, that's the main point on, uh, these are the main points on, on, on the uh, recording solution. Uh, let me outline once again, we are not talking about a simple recorder, but a compliance recorder. That means that we are addressing all the features that are needed to be compliant with some rules and some uh, environment. And even, even for example, uh, MIFID is a European uh, regulation on, on for finance uh, uh, institution uh, that asks for for recording. Uh, these uh, rule are not saying you have, for example, you have to store recorded messages for ten years. This rule says that 
well, if you declare that you uh, will keep the recorded messages for 10 years, then you, you have to grant to your customers that you will not keep a recorded, solu a recorded message older than 10 years. So what we are providing is not just a recording solution, but it's a, some way a toolbox that helps the customer also to measure and grant that he's some way compliant to the rules that once again are not uh, keep 10 gigabytes of recorded messages is you declare how your policy you have to demonstrate that you are moving and implementing the service uh, correctly uh, if compared with that policy so that's the point Great stuff. Obviously, Amida's compliance recorder is only half the story in this team's certification. The next part is the C-Cubed contact center. Um, can you just talk us through a little bit about that? Uh, what can employees expect um, if the contact center is deployed in their organization? Okay, let, let, let me try to change the perspective. I mean, uh, uh, if you're talking about contact center, we are not talking about something that's new. Mida did not invent this. and. Uh, uh, but we have a uh, huge experience in contact center. We have been doing it since more than 20 years, even before uh, Mida uh, uh, was starting uh, uh, this company. Um, but what, what, what happened is that we had to move this uh, experience and this solution from the traditional environment to Teams. Uh, once again, because Teams is changed completely the, this market. And uh, so we are not going to invent anything. Uh, we are moving these features in Teams. And uh, even if it seems, I mean, uh, and that is the, 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 the strength point. Uh, you asked me uh, what, they, what the customers and users can expect from Mida Contact Center. I would say uh, it's like a provocation, nothing. That means that they still have to work in the same way if they are used to have a user experience with Teams, our approach is that they do not have to change user experience. So one of the strength points of our solution, for example, in Teams is that the agent console, that's the main tool that the agent uses, is inside Teams. They are not having a different tool. We also have a browser-based uh, console that may be useful in some environment, but specifically in Teams uh, uh, environment, they generally, obviously, they generally prefer using the Mida console that's embedded in Teams. And that's a, a great point for them. So our approach is giving a, a, a service that, I mean, the target is uh, increasing the productivity of, of the customer at the end of the story. Call Center is a solution that should target this, uh, this thing. Um, but... Our approach is try to be as uh, I mean smooth as possible, so the customer does not have to change his habits and user experience. And even for example, the, the customer I mean in the call center, whenever you manage calls, you have a CRM, uh, some database, some tools to to manage the business part of the of the conversation. And so what we had to do is just to grant that we could integrate with the uh, with the, the CRM and with the existing um, tools. One of these is obviously Microsoft Dynamics in uh, call center implemented in, a, in, a, in, a, in Teams environment uh, would probably use 90% this kind of, of uh, application. Um, even on the same, um, I mean, if I have to talk about another uh, um, distinctive point of call center, not because of Meta, but it's okay, you are implementing services for customers and then you have to monitor and measure your service levels. So what you're doing, so reports, statistics are uh, very, uh, I mean, even more than <laughs> useful, they're necessary to, to, to drive your business. So what we did is obviously we provide a, a huge amount of reports and statistics, but once again, the approach is, I don't want to force my customer to change environment or to use a different environment from the one that used to, 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 to manage before Mida. So in Microsoft environments, the, the statistics and reporting uh, uh, platform is Power BI. So why do we have to change this? What we did is just move all the reports to be available via Power BI. That's the most common tool and the most powerful tool probably in, the, in, in Microsoft environments. So once again, 
get the service with high level quality because I mean we work at, we are working in, in call center since 10, 20 years so we have high uh, I mean advanced uh, routing routing algorithms sorry uh, based on skill based routing uh, we have statistics we have automated responders uh, I can I, I I could say dozens of, of features but uh, I mean the, the um, who is going to implement a call center knows exactly the needed features. We have it, that's the point. The point is that they, our customer will have them with a different approach, with the, something that is in some way smooth and completely integrated in the user experience they have and they will have in a Teams environment. Um, the final point is that, I mean, it, this this is also, let me say some final consideration that is okay, even for the recorder and for the call center. Uh, we are talking about this new scenario where Teams is, uh, is the uh, communication platform. We are going there. We are already there, there some way, but we are working with companies, with big companies that have different legacy solutions. So another interesting point is that we cannot assume that everything will change abruptly from day to the night and, and vice versa. Generally, there's a smooth path to, to migration from, uh, uh, from Cisco or whatever it is to Teams. Um, and the, the, another strength point is that we can grant this migration path. Our solution is compatible even with Teams, but we have been working with several technologies for, uh, as I said, 20 years. So, uh, another strand point is that we can provide a solution that will be some way a companion of our customer in this in, in this path, uh, uh, changing their technologies. Great stuff. Now, congratulations is in order because Media Solutions is the first Italian ISV to achieve Microsoft Teams uh, certification for a contact center and a compliance recorder. Uh, it must have felt great when you found out that you had achieved this um, the certification. Just talk me how you felt when you when you found out when that news was broken to you. Uh, okay, obviously it was uh, it was as I said it was very hard. So we were very happy to, to achieve this uh, certification. But let me say that. We are now officially certified because we started to work on it, I think, even before the pandemic. We started to work on Microsoft Teams before the pandemic. As soon as we understood that this was the good direction, we went straight to, to the certification program. Uh, what I'm saying is that this is, I mean, uh, the, the final point, and, but I think that the most important thing is that we understood that this path should... Uh, uh, we needed to to address this path and this certification. If, I think something like two years ago, because it's a very long process. It needs a lot of, I mean, a job of technical issues, formal issues, legal issues, and uh, so uh, uh, I think that the most important thing is that we we have been innovators for 15 years, for 15, 20 years. Our role, Mida, is not a huge company. Our approach is understanding where is the technology going, where the market is going, and we have to invest on that. And I think that this certification, you can see this certification in this, from this point of view, uh, because this is the final point, but the, it, the choice of investing there is, I think, the most important thing that we, we, we did a couple of years ago. Um, so we understood, we felt what was happening before the pandemic, because Teams is some way, before pandemic, pandemic after pandemic, after pandemic, it's teams. Before, I mean, it was not not, not that way. We understood that it was this. This was the direction, and so we are sure that we did the right thing. Uh, and I think that the certification, in some way, some kind of stamp that confirms that we did the right choice. Great stuff. Well, once again, congratulations on achieving Microsoft Teams certification. Marco, thank you very much for joining me today. Please don't forget to like and share this video. I'm Ryan Swift from New Today. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs>